Intro to Classes Classes are the building blocks of object-oriented programming. Some classes are built into programming languages like functions are, and even though we may have used them already, we didn't know we were. The main difference between a function and a class is that functions do specific things. Classes are specific things. Think of them like blueprints from which objects in our programs can be created. A class is more than a variable or a function because within it contains its own characteristics and behaviors. For example, if you want to create a car object in your program, how would you define it? A car is more than just a string name or an integer value. It has a series of characteristics that may be necessary for your program, like make, model, mileage, etc. This is where classes come in. We can create a car class, which not only could contain within it the characteristics we want for the car, but behaviors, like acceleration, by defining functions. Let's create a car class. First, start with the keyword class. Then, write the name of your class, followed by a colon. By convention, class names start with a capital letter. Remember, all of the code for the class is indented, just like with functions. Every class has variables and functions within it that define its characteristics and behaviors. Because these are specific to classes, we will use these specific words when referring to them. Attributes are variables defined in a class that belong to the class or objects of that class. Methods are functions defined in a class that are called upon objects of the class. Methods are similar to functions, except that they're used exclusively with classes and objects. Let's go back to our car class. For simplicity's sake, let's pretend all cars in our program are Honda CRVs with 75,000 miles. It could look like this. The make, model, and mileage are the attributes of the class. Reminder, Make sure everything in the class is indented. We will adapt our code later to allow for other cars and mileages. Now that we have a class, we can call it to create a car object, also known as an instance of the class. We will give it the name car1. Car1 equals car followed by parentheses. Think of the class as the blueprint for how to make a car, and the object or instance as the actual car that is created. The code to create the object resembles that of defining a variable. It is not indented because it is not inside the class. It is in the global scope or main module of the program. So here we have the object name or identifier, car1, an equal sign, then the class name followed by parentheses. Car1 is an instance of the car class. It is an object, and it holds all the attributes and behaviors of the car class. So what can we do with it? Let's make the car go faster using the accelerate method. We will define it as such. Inside the car class, so indented, we have def accelerate self, then indented again, print vroom. This looks like a normal function that we've written before, but with one main difference, the keyword self. By convention, the keyword self is always the first parameter of a method. When a new car object is created, self refers to the specific instance of the class that is calling the method. Note, the first parameter doesn't technically need to be the word self, it could be any word, but it is a Python naming convention. You can call the method with dot notation. First, put the object name, car1, then a period, then the method name followed by parentheses. The output on the screen will be vroom. Calling the method this way is just a shortcut for this. So these two lines are equivalent. Uh, this is the same thing as calling the accelerate method from the car class in sending the object as the argument, which is going to get saved into this self parameter up here. 
you can now use the car class to create as many objects as you want. Let's create a second car object. So here we have our first object, car one. Now we have another one, car two. We can print out the model of each car with dot notation. With the print command, first put the object name, so car one or car two, then a period, then the attribute you want to access. The output would be CRV, CRV, since both cars have a model of CRV.